If you've spent a lot of time crafting a beautiful piece of wood, could you then take an axe to it? If you're wondering why I did this, then it all will become apparent. If you want to see the final effect, then stay tuned to the end. First things first, I took a piece of what I'm sure is hornbeam and cut it down to size to fit the lathe. Then I started the long process of turning such a gnarly piece of wood into a cylinder. Hornbeam is a really interesting piece of wood to turn. It's got an irregular pattern, a dull creamy coloration, and it's quite soft for a wood when you're turning it. So it can be challenging to turn something that really stands out, but maybe it actually comes down to the creativity of the individual wood turner. I had an end goal in mind, and I'll say from the outset that I didn't achieve it. Now, it wasn't through any mishaps, but it became apparent that the effect didn't work for the shape that I chose. So I switched to a different design, but then had to spend some time thinking about what to call this piece and how to title it for the YouTube video. Time will tell as to whether I did this video or the titling of it justice. I did a rough turn on the outside, then switched to hollowing it out to leave about a 20mm thickness. I was going to need some room to work with after the next step. To purposely destroy something you've created can be a little galling, but it was for a very specific purpose. The vase, or vase if you will, was broken with four main crack lines and then when I tried to splay those apart it kind of broke into two pieces. At least it made access easier to etch and sand those broken edges to create a wider crack for the sole purpose of putting it all back together again. Now many may have heard of the name Kintsugi which is Golden Repair. It's the Japanese repairing of cracked pottery with gold leaf or powder. So for the original idea, I actually wanted to create a lava flow within the bed of the crack. But I don't think the Japanese have a word for lava repair as they do for golden repair. Perhaps the closest would be Yogansugi, lava seam. I started with gluing the pieces back together using epoxy resin glue with black dye and mica powder, and it was messy. If you like clean projects, then it's best to jump forward to the wood turning part. But the mess is something I'm used to, having worked in a weapons factory as a joiner. I did actually ask for a pay rise many times, but the management just said no and stuck to their guns. 
you can see that I used tape to barrier up those cracks as best as possible and then sealed the system with super glue and then to that I could pour the resin dyed lava so called um, but perhaps it had just a bit too much dye in there With the curvature of the vase, I had hoped that the red resin would have the flow effect of lava, but it didn't work. So I added more resin to fill the whole of the crack and make it flush with the surface of the vase. And then got cracking with the rest of the wood turning. The viscosity of the epoxy resin glue meant there were quite a few trapped micro bubbles to fill in with CA glue. It didn't take too much turning on the lathe to true it all up back into the shape of the vase. So I then ran it through the similar sequences as I've done many times before. It's to dry sand it, seal it, wet sand it, and then do the final polishing steps. Place the vase in the remounting jaws in order to remove the tenon. So then I can do a final sand and polish on the base and then the project is completed. Thankfully the combination of ideas of the lava flow and kintsugi, or the lava seam repair, seem to work, at least that's in my opinion. The design concept gave the hornbeam vase a lot more of a visual impact. So it meant having the creamy colour of the hornbeam broken by the thin dark lines of the black resin and that framed the intense red of the supposed lava flow. But the real question is, what do you think of it and how would you have done it differently? Thanks for watching. Please click on the like button if you did like it. Perhaps consider subscribing and why not hit that bell notification too. And I'll catch you next time.